this is an overview of how to use BuzzSumo to get more key influencers connected to your blog. So what I want to do is I want to add more people, more entrepreneurs for my blog startup gap. So there's a few ways I could do it. I could type in a keyword like entrepreneurs or I could go to a site like entrepreneursjourney.com and that's the one that Yaro Sterik runs. He's actually a speaker who actually spoke at a recent um, one of my recent uh, hangouts. I couldn't find anything for him, however, let's try jeffbullis.com. So we did something here with Jeff Bullis, and there is something on here for Jeff Bullis where there's 1,489 shares. So basically, these are all the people who have shared Jeff Bullis's content recently on a blog post. This is great. This is the type of person we definitely want to take a look at. So what we do is we go to total shares and we just click, we go, or I'm sorry, we go view sharers. And as you'll see, the first thing that comes up is Jeff himself. And then you could start going through and you could actually seeing, you could sort by follower count, which is what I would actually prefer you to do. And you could actually see who's retweeting what Jeff is talking about. So the first person that comes up is uh, Jeff DeWeaver. He has 622,000 people. So he replies to 28% of people who talk to him. He retweets 39% of the, the tweets that he actually has. He averages a little less than one tweet per day. That's someone that's pretty cool that I definitely would like to connect with. Um, and, and so what I would do here is I would go follow. So when I follow him it, it automatically follows to my account. Now, you have to make sure that you're logged in. Right now, I'm logged into my uh, Andy Nathan Twitter account. So I actually signed up to do this. So I could also follow Jeff Bullis. I can go down the list and start following people. What you need to do is, I, I, what I need for VAs is I need to make sure that you're able to go through and connect with relevant people on this list and just go through this list and find people who actually respond back. So if we look through here, there's a few different things that are really important. One is the retweet ratio. I want people who retweet a lot more stuff. Maybe not 100% of their stuff is retweets, like someone here who has 93 followers, but I want somebody who has maybe, I don't know, someone who has like a thousand. This person here, um, Fotis Sumanis, has a thousand, 1,500 followers. The only thing is he doesn't tweet that often. So we can go through and we can find out where the best people are. So just make sure the retweet ratio is over 30% because that means that they're actually retweeting a good number of people. So if we keep scrolling down, maybe we'll start finding more, we'll find better people and you can go through and you can start looking at who you want. Definitely having criteria of people that you want to connect with is important. I like to connect with people, preferably in the United States, Canada, UK, or Australia. I like English speaking because I don't speak other languages, or at least I don't speak them that well. So I'd prefer to stick with English speaking countries. Go through all the people on this, uh, on this page, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we want to connect with all the people for a different blog. So let's say we want to, we, we've gone through Jeff Bullis. We, we, we found some connections. Now let's go back to the home page and let's actually type in, I don't know, let's type in small business. So you can see there's some some pieces here. This one's from Mashable. They had 30, almost 3,600 shares for a post here about America's most social small businesses. This is great. This is the exact type of thing I would look for. And I could view all the shares. I definitely want to make sure that when we're going through here that we find quality people and the people who we think will share and connect and, and retweet what we're talking about. So even though Mashable has almost 4 million followers, they only retweet 5% of what they have. That means that most of their stuff is their own. That means they're probably not going to be talking that much about what we're discussing. So let's go through here and let's actually see who is retweeting a lot of stuff. So iTech News shares a lot. The average retweet ratio looks like it's sort of off for a lot of people, so I don't really know how relevant this will be. But uh, you can go through here and you can get a rough idea of 
who's tweeting what and if you need to check out someone's profile you could go to you could just click right here and it should there we go should open up their Twitter profile and then if you want to just follow them directly you could follow them from here now this person's from Mexico and probably actually don't want to follow him because if you notice a lot of stuff he's saying is not in English so again that's where language is very important it's very key so definitely start looking for people to follow through blog through Buzzsumo and uh, that's pretty much it I let me know if you have any other questions. This is Andy Nathan from Startup Gap. Yeah.